Good evening, dear viewers. I'm glad to welcome you on the Savalmas channel. Yaroslav Staruhin, the Global Wave author, is our guest today. And he's filming at the moment too, so you can watch the video he makes on the Global Wave channel. <laughs> Yaroslav, the reason we invited you here today is because you were directly involved in developing the Savalmash crowd investing project and you told a huge audience about the project. And I've checked, these videos have hundreds of thousands of views on your channel. And a huge number of people learned about the project, learned about the possibility of its implementation, the chance to take part in this project. So, tell me how you feel when you see what's behind you and where you've come to. The fact is that this kind of development was established when the global wave was created. That is, I understood that there were people among us who had something to offer to the society, but due to their natural shyness, false imaginary, social powerhouses, those people did not have access to something. And they came up with the idea to use this digitalization, thanks to which we are currently shooting, for good. To shoot such loners, individuals who drive civilization forward and post it on the web. Because there are also individuals that are looking for other such individuals wanting to unite. And thanks to the Global Wave channel, this is Impressive only because these are metal structures, a large territory, a huge number of people have united and created a community. The metal structures have been installed here and we already have communities built under our belt. So I am very happy that the tool of interaction and my work have proven to be useful and are being implemented in practice. This is really great. I have nothing to add in this context. But there is one interesting point. There is an opinion that some people hold, I hear it from time to time, that it is hard to believe in certain projects, hard to believe in someone's idea, in the possibility of its implementation in some existing circumstances in the world, in the established ecosystem, that everything is futile, that there is no need to do anything and there is no point. And yet, in my opinion, the project that you have created, the Global Wave, shares information about a huge number of opportunities. And the Savalmash project, which has become part of the Global Wave history, proves by its existence that the shot was fired, such a surefire shot, right in the head. And it all grew before our eyes in 70 days. And it's really great that there are such platforms that you have created, including those where you can talk about the idea, about the thoughts on its implementation and start the actual work. Thank you. You can't drink chocolate, as they say. You can't spread thank you on bread. What I would like to say, dear friends, is that this building has been under construction for five years. I would not be myself if I did not develop this topic further. But the truth is, it's not five years less than that, but still. The Savalmash operators can turn off their cameras, but the global wave will continue and show you everything. I would like to say the following, dear friends. Let me remind you that the global wave is a project aimed at creating the prerequisites for the transition of civilization to a new stage of development. I can see that there are people among us who have committed and have got closed patents for the concentrated autonomous energy. This means that we can disperse megacities, create new means of transportation in space. The creation of this production complex, from my point of view of an advanced futurist, is an anachronism, because you have to create flying saucers. Spending billions on sand and concrete, that, dear friends, is so yesterday. And the point is that here, in a small union, it has shown that it is possible to erect a building. But this kind of building on a planetary scale is nothing. And we have the task of uniting all over the planet. Breakthrough technologies, scientists say, can come into our lives only for peaceful purposes, for everyone. 
And politicians, the defense forces, will never go by this algorithm. Only a free civil society can understand what this is about and unite in new social neural networks that establish online communication with each other. And such projects as private solutions within the framework of the current legislation, the historical moment, the existing production complex, the creation of a production, unification, cultural and historical, educational cluster and so on. Because when there is an area and there is a roof, there can be any direction within the current law, dear friends. Only within the current law. You take the floor. Yaroslav. I will take this opportunity to start a discussion with you, a positive and friendly one. You said five years, but I have already corrected a little. It's less than five years. In fact, the construction has been going on since we received the construction permit, and it was not so long ago. Let me explain. As far as I know, we're not going to listen to a long story. You can all go to the Savalmas channel and see all the details. In a nutshell, we are in a colony with a colonial administration. And this building could have been built three years ago, if it hadn't been for the red tape, registration of passports, certifications and so on, as well as the alleged state help. Dear friends, such buildings must be built in six months, if we want to be an advanced country. So it upsets me that it takes so long, not because of you, but because of the system that we are part of. I am glad that I have come, and there is an opportunity to tell a wide audience about this. Because now there is a huge number of deputies, and there is not a single deputy, not a single presidential candidate, who talks about free energy. Only the Taliban have announced that they are writing off all interest on debts. And by the way, they are inviting engineers to the country. I've asked the lawyers, dear friends, if a Russian engineer and researcher writes to the government of Afghanistan, will this be considered an offense or not? The Taliban is banned organization in Russia. Here is the paradox, dear friends. But the world is white, Islam and the Taliban have white on their flag. The color of true Islam. And Andrei Petrovich Devyatov, a bit of political update, says that the world is driven into a kind of weapons phase, because the Taliban may come into conflict with the other structures. And what can we do against that, if there is some kind of puppet master manipulating the planet? Only the truth, only openness. To confront it with the equipment, space, shooting with cameras, everything as it happens there, this case to display, to go the way of transparency and unification. Because you need servers to store the video material. And you can do that, for example, in a rented data center or on your own land with connected fiber optic channels. So, getting back to the discussion, I'd like to talk a little bit about the mission of Sovelmas. By and large, this building is a work product, it's not a project goal. It's a project objective necessary to implement the project goal. And in the course of solving the project goal, it is only logical in the context of the modern world to gain profit through the commercialization of technology. Something is produced, something is developed, done to make a profit. But in fact, in order for this to be feasible, it is worth reminding that this is a design and engineering technology department. Since the 80s, as far as I know, no such facilities have been created. And when we created the project for this building, it was not because we wanted to do something unique, but because it was necessary for the formation of a certain school, specialists, the younger generation, and so on. And this was made possible by bringing together quite a large group of people. Although on a global scale it was a small group of people, but hundreds of thousands of people are now involved in the project in one way or another, and they are following it, monitoring it, and participating in it. Therefore, this is a beginning, and there is a lot of work ahead of us. It's not just the beginning. But as Andrei Petrovich Deviatov says, it's the inoculation of the spirit, dear friends. Because it happened only because hundreds of thousands of people took action. First of all, they thought about it, considered it, analyzed, criticized. They looked for opportunities, 
took risks, believed in it. Thank you for being the executors of those projects that I was fortunate enough to capture and preserve for the history of humankind, to show what it really was like. And thank you for the opportunity to tell the people of Earth about it. In fact, I think our video should already be coming to its logical conclusion, because we need to do some more work and start making the next video, in which we will tell about what is going to happen next. Here is the Sovelmash employee. Today is the 17th. And this is very good. Are you lagging behind life or something? No, you see, it's just when you immerse yourself in the workflow, the passage of time slows down by perception, but not always in actuality. So, dear friends, today is August 17th, 2021, Sovel March. We recorded the construction in this state. We have never been here before. We arrived at the site for the first time. Dmitry Alexandrovich called us, not to brag, but to record intermediate results. That's it. God, dear friends. And thank you for your attention, dear viewers. Please visit Yaroslav's channel, watch this video that continues to be recorded. See you again. Write your comments, share your ideas about this format. Global Wave visiting the Sovelmash construction site for the first time.